So the stylist I am going to see today is April B. Um, she's a celebrity stylist here in Atlanta and um, I was referred to her by one of my friends. So I'm really looking forward to uh, letting her do my hair. One of the reasons I want to go is because I need a professional hand on my head. I want to get my hands trimmed, get a professional um, deep conditioner and wash and just y'all know how to just get my hair professionally done basically so anyway i'm going to take you guys on this journey with me and as y'all can see um yeah i've grown out a lot and i'm curious to know how healthy my hair is as well from a professional standpoint so here we go all right i will see you guys throughout the clip all right talk to you later <laughs> keep your fingers crossed i'm so nervous so nervous all right bye Alright guys, I am here at the salon and I'm getting ready to go up under the bowl and we're going to record some of me here at the beauty salon and yeah. Alright, so here we go.
right, guys. So right now I am feeling the vibe of this salon right now. And I'm a bit nervous. Getting ready to get my hair trimmed. And as you guys can see, I have a lot of alopecia breakout spots in my hair. But I didn't have as many as I thought. So I had a discussion with April B about the condition of my hair and my alopecia and uh, to my surprise she told me that I really did a great job in taking care of my hair and my scalp and um, what I found out was the top part of my crown area of my hair was really growing back in. I thought that I really wasn't going to be able to grow that area of my hair back in but she told me that I had already started experiencing growth because I was really contemplating on whether to cut my hair off or not so as you guys can see she's braiding it very very lightly it may not look like it in the video but she's being very gentle with my hair and hey guys this is the first time in a long time in years that I've had cornrows in my hair and hey, check out those edges. When she gripped the side of my head, I nearly fell out the chair because I did not even know I had hair. My hair had grew that long on the side because I had never had my hair blown out uh, actually in years. Yeah, I was shocked. I am home I am officially in for the evening it is 10 o'clock and done with the hair um, with my hair on today and I must say today was an amazing experience it was whew, well I don't even know how to describe it it was wonderful it was wonderful I did not know what to expect but I ended up really, really liking it. Really, really liking it a whole lot. So this was my first time going to April B Salon. I was trying to do a closeout talk with her um, on the way out the door, but she had, she had another client coming in, so I was not able to um, get to do that with her. But anyway, I just wanted to share a few things with you guys um, with my experience today. Of course, you guys know this is my first time in years being in a salon getting my hair done my very first time letting a natural hairstylist do my hair now um, one of the things I wanted to share with you guys that you may not have caught in the video is that when they blew out my hair they blew my hair out on cool air it wasn't hot at all so it wasn't like a silk press blowout and so her cutting my end, she was saying to me she wasn't able to really see whether I had really bad split ends or where my split ends were because it wasn't bone straight. So she asked me where I wanted my hair cut at and I just told her, let's just do an inch. And that's what she did. So she didn't cut a whole lot, a lot off um, because when I arrived there and as you guys saw, I gave y'all a uh, snapshot of how my hair looked. I just did a twist out. Um, my hair appeared to be very healthy and everything. She said I did a wonderful job with whatever I was doing with my hair and to keep doing it. So that's where we were at. So overall my experience was great and um, yeah I'm really glad I did it. I recommend anybody to go. Um, she's located here in Atlanta. Um, her name is April B. Um, she's on Instagram and everything and I'm going to leave her information here and the link to her YouTube channel and uh, possibly her Instagram information down, down below as well. So I really enjoyed it. Um, my scalp is not sore at all and that's one thing I'm really, really thankful for and my hair... Um, um, when she braided my hair, she braided it very, very light. So I'm so grateful to that because I can go to sleep and not worry about um, not being able to sleep for a couple of days and my scalp being pulled. So she gave me a few tips that I'm going to follow through on and I'll keep you guys posted on my journey going forward. I did make another appointment to see her in a month, in a few weeks. So I'll just keep you guys posted. I'm not going to record every journey, every journey. 
but I will keep you guys posted on my hair growth journey. Y'all look out because I'm getting ready to share with you guys some of my old footage and I'm going to talk about uh, some of the old treatments that I had done in the past. My PRP treatment, my uh, let's um, talk with Debbie or I forget her name. <laughs> um, I'm going to share with you guys my experience with going with some of these other agencies or agent uh, these other places where I sought help to grow my hair and I'm going to share with you guys my experience with them going forward. But until the next, until the next time, that is it to this for this video. You guys stay safe and I will see you guys then. Be safe and if you're here, let me just put this plug in. If you lasted to the end of this video, go ahead and subscribe below because there's new and exciting things that's coming up in the Class Act Nation. Yes, it is. All right. <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next video. Y'all take care. Holla at you later. Bye.